So I'd like to talk to you today about the germline Rungspan mutations and the risk that it puts patients uh, towards developing acute myeloid leukemia and myelodysplastic syndromes. So over the last few decades, we have realized that there are certain inherited conditions that increase the risk for development of acute myeloid leukemia. And you know these are families that if you go into their family histories, you'll find their members who've had long-standing low platelet counts, so thrombocytopenia. And eventually, you know, between the third and fourth decade, a lot of them develop myeloid malignancies, of which acute myeloid leukemia is quite prominent and leads to a lot of mortality and morbidity. Uh, we have spent a lot of time in trying to understand, you know, how do these genes impact the development of both low platelet counts, and then why do certain patients go on to develop acute leukemia? And so a couple of take-home points that are important for practice. Number one, a lot of these inherited Runx1 abnormalities occur because of gene deletions, and these can be missed by traditional amplicon-based NGS assays. So copy number variations have to be measured by hybridization probes or by computational methods with targeted capture. Secondly, the overlap between the germline Runx1 mutations and the somatic mutations are quite uh, variable, and so they usually are, uh, don't have much overlap, and so recognizing that uh, spectrum is important. In almost all the patients that we've seen who've developed acute myeloid leukemia, it was preceded by development of clonal hematopoiesis involving mutations that either involve the second Runx1 gene or other myeloid-relevant genes like ASXL1 and EZH2. And so detection of clonal hematopoiesis occurs way before morphological changes of MDS or AML occur in these patients. And so that may be a time point to intervene you know, in terms of whether we do transplant-based strategies or a clinical trial. And the biggest question that we've been trying to address is how do we impair or abrogate this clonal hematopoiesis in someone who's born with a germline Runx1 deletion or mutation and prevent them from going on to develop acute leukemia. And most of the times their thrombocytopenia does not cause as much of a problem to them as uh, you know, the consequence of developing a a AML. Uh, and so with this, you know, we hope to convey the message that you know, any patient that you see with acute leukemia, if there is a first degree family member or a family history of myeloid malignancies or an antecedent history of low platelets or thrombocytopenia, please pay attention to the fact that they could have germline predisposition syndromes, the most important being Runx1. And we call this Runx1 FPD, which stands for Runx1 Familial Predisposition Syndrome. Apart from acute myeloid leukemia, they can also develop T lymphoblastic leukemias and have certain phenotypic associations like eczema. Thank you very much.